Hi everyone, this is Teal from Packablocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Lenovo Yoga book from the perspective of an artist. My review will focus on the drawing features of this laptop tablet thing. So let's get right into it. Let me give you a quick look at what's included in the box first. You will have the yoga book of course. This is the charger with micro USB cable. This is the cable that you use to charge most Android phones. There's this large package here and inside there is a notebook and a notebook holder. I'll talk more about this later. This is the pen that's included and it comes with some extra ballpoint nibs. This is the actual pen and this is the ballpoint refill. There are going to be three ballpoint refills. And this is the manual and there is a little pin inside. So this is the pin that you use to eject the micro SD card slot so that you can put your own memory card in. And that's all there is in the box. So let me put this away and talk about the main specifications of this yoga book. Hey guys, can you see my reflection in the screen? Yes, this is a very glossy screen. This screen is 10.1 inches. The color reproduction is actually quite good. It supports up to 90% sRGB. I'm not sure about the Adobe RGB support, but for a laptop like this in this price range, I'm not expecting much. This currently retails at 500 US dollar. This is the Android version. There is the Windows version, which is $50 more expensive. Now it uses an Intel processor inside, quad-core 1.4. It can go up to over 2 GHz. It's not that powerful. Do not expect to do any processor intensive task on this. And if you are using Windows, if you are going to run Photoshop, my friend has told me that it's going to lag. So uh, that is something not surprising. Let's talk about the form factor. This is a very lightweight, compact computer. Let me compare that to my A5 sketchbook. So this is just slightly larger compared to this A5 sketchbook. And this is actually thinner. So it's very thin. In fact, it is so thin that it can be a bit difficult to open and open this up. So I always have to use two hands to do that. The build quality is good, it's solid, the surface finishing is a matte surface although I can see a lot of fingerprints on it. On the back there are no rubber feet so this is going to be quite prone to scratches. This unit that I borrowed from my friend to review already has some scratches on it so uh, be careful about that. I'm not sure if they sell any case uh, to go with this but in this form factor, it is really very portable. I mean, if it's thinner compared to my sketchbook, it is very thin. Let's take a look at the ports on the side. This is the micro USB charging port, micro SD card slot. In case you want to increase the storage, you can do so. This yoga book has 64 gigs of storage inside. This is micro HDMI port. This is quite useful if you want to connect this to an external monitor. These are side facing speakers. On the other side we have the speakers as well. I feel that the quality is actually very good. They are very loud but it feels a bit weird when listening to them because they are pointing to the side. Volume button, power button, 3.5mm headphone jack. This is a nice idea that allows you to fold the screen all the way to the back to use this in tablet mode so this is quite nice and compared to other computers that are out there they, that have physical keyboards this side here is flat it's smooth so it feels very nice when um, when held like this and let's talk about the keyboard now this is what they call the halo keyboard so it lights up when it's in typing mode and if you want to switch it to drawing mode you just press and hold this button here it will turn off and you are in drawing mode and that's when you can use the stylus that's included this stylus does not require any battery and it is pressure sensitive there is a cap that you can use to protect the nib 
the cap is actually quite uh, difficult to remove because it's very tight and this is the drawing tip the tip is quite small and to replace this tip here you just have to use the back of the cap just put the tip inside tilt it and pull it out you can replace it with the ballpoint refill that comes with it this is the mini star ballpoint refill this is the refill that is used in some types of ballpoint pen and the reason why there are two types of tips is because the yoga book allows you to use either the ballpoint or the stylus for drawing if you are using the ballpoint then of course you have to draw on paper if you are using the stylus you can draw directly on the yoga book when you run out of ink you can just go to a stationery shop to find this refill or go online and search for it you have to get the mini star brand refill i have tried other brands this for example is the zebra refill exactly the same type of refill same length ballpoint as well but this zebra refill it does not work with the stylus provided so you have to get the mini star version if you are someone who prefers traditional media you prefer to use pen on paper then you can actually use your own paper your own notebook or sketchbook with the yoga book and before you do that make sure you turn off the keyboard first to get into the drawing mode you just press and hold this button here and it should turn off Lenovo has provided a notebook holder with their own notebook so this is how it looks like there's this magnetic flap here where you can open there are two magnets here that also helps hold down the notebook and this is the notebook that they have provided it's non-standard size I'm not sure what is the exact size but um, this is white format this is A5 so let me put this behind to let you see the difference so this is much wider and to use this you just slot it like this and use the magnet to clamp it down and position this notebook holder between this boundary there are four markers here so this is the active area where anything that you draw within it will be captured so you have to position this notebook within the boundary so that anything that you draw in this area it will be captured if you draw outside of the boundary the lines whatever you write it will not be captured so that is something to take note of and um, because of this notebook holder because of these two holes here I'm not able to use my own sketchbook so if I were to actually want to use my own uh, notebook like this I will have to position it in such a way that this notebook it doesn't move because when I write something and it moves like this um, the accuracy of the strokes the drawings it will be off and if you want to put a very thick sketchbook on top you can do so so this is quite a thick sketchbook but I have to warn you that uh, if it's too thick then the yoga book will not be able to de detect the stylus the hover distance is around 1 cm so um, it's best to use a sketchbook or notebook that is thinner than 1 cm and that is actually quite thick already all right let's do some drawing demonstration i'm going to demonstrate drawing using the the plastic nib first i've already installed some drawing apps on the yoga book this is adobe sketch adobe draw autodesk sketchbook Wacom Bamboo Paper, Medibank Paint, Sketch Art Flow. For handwriting apps, I have Squid and this is Incredible. Now, the default drawing app on the Yoga Book is called Note Saver, and Note Saver is quite similar to Wacom Bamboo Paper. I'm not going to test all of them, I'm just going to demonstrate maybe using Adobe Sketch and bamboo paper and perhaps midi bank paint to, to show you the pressure sensitivity the accuracy and how the line art is going to look like so let's start with adobe sketch i'm now in adobe sketch and this is a drawing that i drew yesterday let me turn this off 
and create a new layer alright let me pick a pen so to draw I will have to draw on this area here within this boundary and I'm not able to use these dollars on the screen so to select any tools I will have to use my finger so I draw here I use my finger and do gestures here on this screen so let's try and draw something the accuracy is very good now it supports pressure sensitivity so when I press down hard I will get thick lines but there is no way for me to adjust the pressure curve on this yoga book I'm not sure if you are going to be able to do that with the Windows version but it's very accurate and because I'm not able to adjust the pressure curve I do feel that I'm restricted by the type of lines that I can create so if I want very thin lines I'm not able to create the very thin lines because um, the variation is just not there I only get a tiny variation the other thing to take note of is now this drawing area here is almost one to one to the screen so personally for me I use drawing tablets that are smaller compared to my monitors so when I draw on my other tablets a short stroke on the tablet is going to translate to a long stroke on the monitor but here it's one to one so there is definitely some learning curve involved it will take some time to get used to it but the learning curve is very short and it's very easy to draw with this so this is Adobe Sketch let me switch over to using something else let me hit the home button and use Wacom Bamboo Paper Wacom Bamboo Paper is an app that I like to use for drawing uh, doodles, line art and taking notes and this is a very nice app this free version comes with very limited tools if you want expanded tools like brushes, paint brush markers then you will have to pay uh, extra so I'm just going to do the same thing so just now um, I was drawing so now the line variation is a bit more obvious so let me press let me try, try and draw some thin lines so these are the thin lines I don't use a lot of pressure and now I'm going to press down hard so these are the thicker lines and these are the thin and thick lines let's see if there are any jitter if I draw diagonal lines very slowly so now I'm trying to draw very slowly and I really don't see a lot of jitter any jitter is really from my hand that is shaking so I don't see any problems with uh, slow diagonal lines now the slow diagonal lines the jitter effect is something that affects a lot of tablets but since I'm not drawing on the screen I don't see that problem some people like to use the ruler to test for it and now I have a ruler here I'm going to place it onto the drawing area and try and draw a slow diagonal line So there is absolutely no wavy effect, no jitter. This is a perfectly straight line. So the accuracy is spot on. It is very accurate. Let me use midi bank paint now. This is a drawing that I drew yesterday. So I'm not able to rotate, but I can zoom and pinch and pan around. So rotate is not supported in this Android version of the app which brings me to the next point the features that are supported by the app is very important because even if your pen has pressure sensitivity but the app if it doesn't support it you're not going to get uh, the thin and thick lines so it really depends on how uh, well the app is designed so let me turn off this and I'm going to draw on my notebook now let me place this right in the middle of the boundary 
Now to prevent this from moving, I will actually use a rubber clip to clip this. I uh, use a rubber clip so that it doesn't scratch the back of the yoga book. And I have changed to the ballpoint nib. So I'm going to test that out right now. Let me pick a pen. So I'm going to pick this pen. Let me make it a bit thicker so that I can see the lines. All right. Oops, this is a bit thick. So, but it's good because I want to demonstrate how thin the lines can be. Now I can get better variations uh, in terms of line thickness with this particular app. And this is the drawing that I have here, which is basically a letter L. Right now I'm actually looking at the screen and drawing, but I can also look at my paper and draw and see how well it's going to be captured. So it captures my um, drawing rather accurately. For thin lines, if I don't use a lot of pressure, I it's something like this. For thicker lines, when I press down real hard, this is definitely much thicker compared to Wacom Bamboo Paper and Adobe Sketch. So I can get much better variations here. From thin to thick, thin. If you lift up the pen tip from the paper, you will get those broken lines. So those are actually intentional. But this also uh, tells me that this is very sensitive. So if the tip is off the surface, you're not going to get anything. Like I've mentioned earlier, you can only use the mini star ballpoint review if you want to have your strokes recorded. You cannot use other pens like this. This is a Sharpie marker. So nothing is recorded. This is a ballpoint pen as well nothing this is a roller ballpoint nothing as well and this is the Lenovo Stylus with the ballpoint so it only works with the Lenovo Stylus and more specifically it only, it only works with the mini star ballpoint refill let me show you what would happen if I were to use the zebra refill so this is the zebra ballpoint refill. Let me push it all the way to the back so that it's inserted properly. And let me write something. I'm not even touching the paper. Can you see that there are lines there? So I'm just hovering over the paper and it's as if I'm drawing, but that's not the case. So it doesn't work with um, zebra. So let me just remove this. Now generally speaking for drawing when I'm using the yoga book, I actually do not use the ballpoint. I would just use the, the plastic tip here. I find that uh, on this matte surface, it feels like I'm actually drawing on a Huion or Wacom tablet. So it's, it feels quite good. I mean, it's not as good compared to paper, but it is still quite good. It's not um, super, how do I say, screechy because I'm not actually drawing on glass and the feel and texture of this is quite uh, nice. So far I've been drawing on the keyboard. If you want to use the stylus on the screen, you can do so but you have to turn on the any pen mode and that is in the settings. So it's right here. Let me click on this. This page will appear. Here it says that this technology will respond to any conductive object. So now if you turn this on, you will be able to use the stylus on the screen. I have already turned this on. Here it says that it's on. So let me go back to a drawing app like Wacom Bamboo Paper and draw on it. When you are in the any pen mode, there is no pressure sensitivity and there is no palm rejection. Let me try and draw some slow diagonal lines and see how it works. So there is definitely some jitter. And not only that, the tablet wasn't able to detect the pen all the time. 
so there are some lines um, that are broken So the stylus it doesn't work that well in this mode. Let me try and do some writing. So this is not very good for writing because it wasn't able to detect the stylus all the time. I see a lot of broken lines and it wasn't able to capture my handwriting accurately. Now let me compare this to writing on the keyboard area. So it's much better to use the keyboard to write. It's able to capture my handwriting more accurately and there's no lag and it just looks better and it works better. One last thing that I forgot to mention earlier is um, whether or not there is going to be any lag, it's going to depend on the application. So with some drawing applications, I do see some lag. For example, in Adobe Sketch, sometimes the lines, they do not come out as fast as I want them to be, but the lag is very minimal, but it's there. But with uh, other apps like, for example, Midibank Paint and Wacom Bamboo Paper, there is almost no lag at all. So it really comes down to which app you are using. And that brings me to the end of this review. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will post a link to my text review and if there are going to be any updates, I will update my text review. So thanks for watching. I hope this review is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.